friends. Welcome to yoga. So nowadays we have to be flexible with how we do our things and interact with our people. So once again, thank you for your patience and your understanding. We're doing it even a little bit more different today. So instead of me getting to see you on Zoom, we're doing a recording today. So I hope you've had a wonderful morning. I hope you're all settled in and looking forward to your yoga session today. So today we're going to do the activity song, If You're Happy and You Know It. You know this song. You've probably heard it from when you were very small. Um, and then we're going to yogify it. So we're going to put all of our yoga motions with it. Uh, we're going to do a seated warm-up today. So we'll be crisscross applesauce, stretch our bodies down low, do our peace begins with me meditation. And then we're gonna warm our bodies all the way up to standing, do a couple of our sun salutations to get the full body warmed up. And then I'll teach you the poses too if you're happy and you know it. We'll do our activity song, go all the way into our resting pose or resting garden, and then we will finish with our rainbow breath today. So with that, join me in a seated position on your mat, crisscross applesauce sitting up nice and tall. So if you rock side to side, you should be able to feel your sit bones. Sit bones are the bones in our hips that we sit upon when we are sitting up nice and tall with our spine long and maybe our belly button pulled in just a little bit. Top of the head up towards the sky, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. And then you can place your hands right on top of your knees. Let's take three deep breaths just to get our bodies and our minds ready for our session today. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Big breath out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. One last time. Deep breath in through the nose. Big breath out. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your nose. Stretch the arms up and over, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the fingertips out in front, walk the hands away from the body. Maybe walk the hands off to one side, raise your hands, say hello hands, and lower. Walk your hands through the middle off to the other side. And then raise the opposite arm up, hello other hand. And then back down to center, release the chin towards the chest, roll your spine all the way up. Look up, look down, slowly like a sloth, look all the way around. There's one, and two, and three. Other direction, one, two, and three. Coming back to neutral. Reach up and over for a big side stretch. Hello, hand again. And the other side, stretch. Hello, other hand again. And then come back to neutral. Shoulders up, shoulders down, shoulders up. Shoulders down, shoulders up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All the way around. So up, back and down. There's one, and two, and three, and then forward. One, and two, and three. Smell the flower, blow out the candle. Smell the flower, blow out the candle. And then stretch one of your long strong legs out in front. The knee and toe pointed up towards the sky. Sitting up nice and tall, feel those sit bones. And then you're gonna place one hand in front of that outstretched leg. Sweep the other arm up and over, leaning. And then slowly switching sides. Remember the knee and the toes are pointed up. Place the hand on the inside of that leg. Stretch up and over. And then both legs out at the same time for our wide-legged stretch. Still finding those sit bones. Still nice long spine. Reach up, take a deep breath. Exhale, bring the fingertips in front. No need to be able to kiss the floor here or bring nose to the floor. Just a nice deep stretch. Take one more breath and then exhale. Walk the hands back towards your body. Use the strength of your hands to help the knees come all the way in and then bottoms of the feet together for butterfly pose. 
So we can, um, we can use our butterfly wings as our legs and we can flap them up and down. Close your eyes for just a moment and think about what color butterfly you would be if you could choose to be any butterfly at all. I think today I feel like a monarch butter butterfly. So kind of that beautiful orange and black color. And they are majestic because they're big and they are strong looking butterflies. And if I could fly anywhere as a butterfly, I think I would fly to the nearest flower garden and slowly sip the nectar of each of those beautiful flowers. So take just a moment and think about where you would fly if you were a butterfly. And then return to your crisscross applesauce, sitting up nice and tall. Take a moment and notice how your brain and your body feel today. Knowing that we can feel different on different days. So depending on how our morning went, maybe our grown-ups at home uh, had kind of a, a late start maybe, or maybe we overslept. And it just kind of, you know, made the rhythm of the morning or the routine of the morning off a little bit. Or maybe we didn't sleep very well last night. So all of these sort of things can kind of shift the way that our day goes. So and maybe you had a fantastic morning. Maybe everything went right. So really take a moment. Think about how your, your mind and your body are feeling today. And then find finger to thumb, finger to thumb, because yoga is A-OK. -okay. A okay and then place the back of the hands right on top of the knees finding those sit bones in your alignment ears over shoulders shoulders over hips once again and start softening so for now I invite you to close your eyes and think of someone that has been a helper to you today someone that has shared a smile helped you tie a shoe maybe they've shared a toy with you Maybe they were extra patient with you while you were getting into school or starting to learn. So close your eyes and think of that person and send them a little love and gratitude or thanks to that person. And then slowly open your eyes. Preparing for our peace begins with me. Remember, each time we say a word, we switch fingers to thumb. So it'll look like this, peace begins with me. And we don't just meditate because I encourage you to meditate. We meditate for us to have a pause before we think and a pause before we speak and a pause before we act. So it's just a way to be able to calm the feelings that don't feel very good on the inside. All of our feelings are appropriate and welcome, but sometimes we have the control to shift the way that we might be feeling on any particular day. So this is how we do it with um, this age group. And a lot of times this is what I share with some of my teenagers and my grown-up students as well. So fingers to thumb. So it'll go peace begins with me. We'll say it three times out loud. Three times in a whisper. And then we'll think it inside our beautiful minds for one whole minute. And if we get distracted, we just take a breath and begin again, okay? So sitting up nice and tall, three times out loud, three times in a whisper, one minute inside our brain. Ready, go. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Now whisper, peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Close your eyes and think it inside your brain for one minute.
take a deep breath in through your nose, keeping your eyes closed and your body still, and notice. Notice how your brain feels. Notice how your body feels. Sometimes my friends say that their minds and their bodies feel soft and calm. Sometimes they just say, I feel good. So we can't always feel good, but we do have the control and the power to be able to kind of make ourselves feel better when we aren't feeling good. So wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your nose, and then slowly open your eyes. Give yourself a hug and a pat on the back. Say, good job, me. And then kiss your brain to hold on to it for the rest of the day. So continuing with our warm-ups, we're going to sweep our legs underneath and stack shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees for tabletop. So nice long spine, eyes are looking at your mat. Draw your belly button in towards the backbone. And then on your next exhale or out breath, release the chin to the chest, curl your spine, tuck that tailbone under for cat pose. Inhale, scoop the spine, lift the tailbone up, eyes towards the front of your mat for cow pose. Move. Exhale, round for cat. Inhale for cow. Move. One last time. Exhale for cat. And look, here's my cat. It's like she knew. And then inhale, scoop the spine for cow. Move. Bring the knees out to the long edge of the mat. Bring the big toes together behind and then rest the hips all the way back to the heels. Walk the arms out for extended child's pose. Take three breaths here. And then slowly on the next exhale, walk the hands back, bring the knees back under the body, turn the toes under, lift the hips high, Bring the ears in between the arms and pedal the feet back and forth for downward facing dog. So if we pedal the feet, we call this walking the dog. We're slowly releasing one heel down towards the floor at a time to really stretch the backs of the legs out. And then see if we can release both heels down towards the mat. And let me hear your best dog imitation. Ruff, 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 ruff. And then slowly come all the way forward. So just the palms of your hands and the toes are connected for plank pose. Bellies are strong here. Nice long spine. See if you can get your wrists underneath your shoulders. And then slowly come back to your downward facing dog. And then look between the hands and either step or walk the feet forward into ragdoll. Ragdoll, the top of our body is nice and loose. Our knees are bent. You can even hold on to opposite elbows or give yourself a hug behind the knees. But the head and the neck are nice and loose. So I want you to nod your head yes and shake your head no to know just how soft and loose we want the neck here. And then release the hands down to the floor and slowly curl the spine all the way up. Nice and slow. Coming all the way to our standing. Sweep the arms up and over. Bellies are tight, legs are tight. Coming into mountain pose and then exhale the palms together. Thumbs to the heart to remind us we are all connected by no mistake. So palms connected, thumbs to the heart is namaste. Namaste is the fancy word that means the light or everything lovely and good inside of me sees and honors everything good and beautiful inside of you. So namaste, namaste means the light in me honors the light in you. So to keep our strong bodies strong and flexible and calm and quiet all at the same time, we're going to do three sun salutations. So starting at the front of your mat, bring your hands to heart center to namaste, strong bodies. Inhale, send the fingertips up, and then exhale, open the arms up wide all the way down to your rag doll. So loosely hang 
hang for just a moment. Plant the hands, bend the knees so that your hands reach the floor. Then step one leg back, then the other, plank pose. Lower down to the knees, and then you bend the elbows. Inhale, cobra. Inhale, exhale, hiss. Turn the toes under, send the hips high, downward dog. Ruff, 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 ruff. Look between the hands, step one foot forward, other to meet, rag doll. And then curl the spine all the way to standing, sweep the arms up and over, palms pressed together, exhale to namaste. Two more times, ready? Namaste, inhale, send the arms up, Exhale, open the arms wide, all the way down to ragdoll. Bend the knees, plant the hands, step back, one leg, then the other, plank pose. And then slowly lower to the knees, lower your strong body down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, turn the toes under, send the hips high. Downward facing dog. Step the foot forward, other to meet, ragdoll. Roll the spine all the way up. Sweep the arms up and over. Palms pressed together. Bellies are tight. Exhale, namaste. One more time. Inhale, send the fingertips all the way to the sky. Exhale, swan dive all the way to our ragdoll. Bend the knees generously. Stepping back, right leg, then the left, high plank. And then slowly lower all the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog this time. So the palms and the tops of the feet are the only thing touching your mat. Inhale, then exhale, howl, howl. <laughs> exhale, turn the toes under, send the hips high. Downward facing dog. And then look between the hands, step or walk the feet forward, rag doll. And then curl the spine all the way up. Sweep the arms up and over, bellies are strong. Exhale to heart center, thumbs to the heart to remind us we are all connected by no mistake. Namaste. Thank you for joining for the sun salutations today. Okay, moving on to our activity song for the day. If, if you're happy and you know, clap your hands, but we're not clapping our hands. We're going to do a yoga pose. So it'll be if you're happy and you know it, do ragdoll. <laughs> the first pose we're going to do is mountain. So this is the yoga version if you're happy and you know it. So the first pose, mountain pose, we're going to stand with alignment, starting at the top of the head. The top of the head is up towards the sky, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over knees, knees over ankles, feet are firm on the ground. So I want you to lift all 10 toes off of the ground. And then using your beautiful brain, I want you to slowly lower each toe one at a time. It's a little tricky because you're wearing shoes. And then I want you to rock forward and back, keeping those toes hugged into your shoes on top of your mat. Strengthen the legs, strengthen the bottom, the belly, roll the shoulders up, back and down, strong arms next to your body, mountain pose. So the palms are facing forward. You can also, if you want to have a peak or a point on top of your mountain, just bring your arms straight up to do so. So that's mountain pose. So if you're happy and you know it, be a mountain, strong and proud and brave and firm and stable. And then we're going to step apart, wide step, toes are at an angle, and then stretch our strong arms out for star pose. So you'll see our five points of the star, the head, the fingertips, and the toes are the five points of our star. So with star pose, a lot of our, star, our songs that we do star pose, we end up dancing and moving the body and stuff. Always start with the strong pose first, where your belly's strong, your arms are tight, your legs are tight, and you're breathing. So we hold the pose, we don't hold our breaths. And then you can move and dance and everything. And then, we've already done ragdoll a few times, but we'll go over it one more time. So from ragdoll, from mountain, and then star, and then step the feet back together. Ragdoll, you start with your arms up, and then you ragdoll all the way down. So again, your head is soft, your neck is soft, your arms are loose, or you can 
can even hold on to your um, opposite elbows. So that's a rag doll. And I usually, when we do this in class, I usually rag doll, and then you guys say it back to me. And then from rag doll all the way down here, we're gonna step back and sit with our knees on the ground, sit our bottoms back onto our heels, sitting up nice and tall. Bellies are strong, shoulders released away from the ears. Hands are right on top of our laps for hero pose. You can also put your hands right on your hips and imagine what hero you might be. So you could be Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, you could be Superman, you could be Black Panther, you could be <laughs> Thor. <laughs> so think of the superhero you wanna be. I always imagine that I'm Wonder Woman because as a mom and a teacher, and an independent, strong thinker, I always think um, I would choose Wonder Woman, but I would choose a different outfit because I don't think her outfit's very practical. <laughs> so take a deep breath in through your nose, deep breath out. <sighs> take just a moment and know that even though you are small, you are mighty and you have the power to do amazing, incredible things in our world, just like a superhero. From superhero, we will move to lion's pose. Then you place your hands right on top of your lap. Lion's pose always starts with a deep breath in through the nose and a big roar out. Now roaring doesn't mean screaming. So when we roar, we're not gonna scream to scare somebody. We're gonna roar, deep roar. So in through the nose, open the mouth, roar. I'm not a very vicious lion but that's why I'm a yoga instructor. Okay, deep breath in through the nose. Roar! For lion's pose. And then we will sweep the legs out in front of us for forward, seated forward fold. So knees and toes pointed up, strong bellies, inhale, stretch the arms up, and then forward fold. If this is too much of a stretch for you, just bend the knees just a little bit, and it'll feel better on the back of the leg. Tuck the feet under, scoot the bottom towards the heels, and then we're gonna place our palms, fingertips towards our hips, and move the elbows back. Inhale, lift the hips high, and then tilt the head back for table. This is a reverse table. So we've already done our regular tabletop, so we are actively lifting the hips here. This is a strong pose. Make sure that you are holding the pose and not your breath and then slowly lower tabletop down. The next pose in our activity song is called Laugh Out Loud. So it's silly. So when it says, if you're happy and you know it, laugh out loud, I want to be able to hear all of your crazy laughter. So it says, if you're happy and you know it, laugh out loud. <laughs> or you can make it small. You could um, pretend you're laughing like Santa Claus, <laughs> but make it silly because laughter can and should be a part of yoga, especially for kids yoga. And then after we laugh out loud, it will be time to rest. And you know how to rest. We stretch our bodies out and then you listen to my story to get us nice and rested. So with that, let's get our activity song going. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you're 
you're happy and you know it, be a star. If you're happy and you know it, do rag all. Lucy gives you. If you're happy and you know it, do rag all. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do rag all. If you're happy and you know it, be a hero. Run away. If you're happy and you know it, be a hero. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, be a hero. If you're happy and you know it, be a lion. Run away. If you're happy and you know it, forward bend. I can't oh, the way over. Don't if forget to bend your knees if it doesn't feel good. Bend. Bend. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, forward bend. If you're happy and you know it, be a table. Belly up. If you're happy and Lead you know it, be a table. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, be a table. If you're happy and you know it, laugh out loud. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, laugh out loud. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, laugh out loud. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, take a rest. If you're happy and you know it, it's the best. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, take a rest, take a rest, take a rest. Stretch your long, strong bodies out on the mat. And then allow the feet to naturally soften. Arms are next to your body, palms facing up. Lift one leg high in the sky, squeeze all the muscles tight, tight, tight. Point the toes and then flex, point and flex. And then roll the foot in one direction and the other. Point one more time. Make your whole leg strong. And then slowly and gently lower all the way down. Roll it around and forget about it. Lift the other leg high in the sky. Squeeze all the muscles tight. Point and flex. And point and flex and point and flex. Roll the foot in one direction and the other. Point one last time, make everything strong, and then slowly and gently lower all the way down. Roll it around and forget about it. Lift your strong yoga arms into the sky. Squeeze all the muscles tight. Make the fingers as wide as you can. And then snap the fingers shut. Roll the wrists in one direction and the other. Open the fingers up wide, squeeze all the muscles in your arms tight, and then slowly and gently lower the arms to the ground, roll them around, and forget about them. Take a deep breath in through your nose, squeeze all the muscles of your face like a giant raisin. And then on the out breath, relax from the top of the head, closing your eyes, making your body still, and resting all the way through the bottoms of the feet. Allow the body to feel soft. Allow the body to feel calm. Continue to take deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. With your eyes closed and your body still, imagine that you are lifting up into a beautiful fluffy cloud, a cloud so big and so thick it holds you gently and safely inside. As the cloud rocking side to side starts to lift you into the air, feel the cool air coming in through your nose, let it feel soft on your skin. 
as you're floating, imagine if you can see other friends on their cloud floating nearby. Notice what color your sky is today, if the air feels cool or warm on the skin. Imagine if it is daytime or nighttime or somewhere in between. If it's daytime, imagine if you can see a rainbow or birds and butterflies. Maybe even a plane flying off in the distance. If it's nighttime, imagine if you can see the moon glowing. Maybe a star or two. Maybe even a shooting star. There are no wrong answers as we prepare for resting garden. As you're floating and feeling the body be comfortable and soft and calm, start thinking about a place that you would like to rest. It can be anywhere your beautiful imagination can imagine. You could pretend to be hiking up a mountain, through the trees on a trail, where it's cool and shaded. Maybe you see the beautiful sun streaming through the leaves. Maybe you are at the beach, walking on the warm sand, hearing the ocean waves rolling in and the ocean waves rolling out. Maybe you are on your favorite playground with all of your favorite equipment, maybe a few of your favorite friends. Or maybe you're discovering a new land where you are the explorer, imagining a place no one has ever seen before. Your eyes are the first to see it and discover it. Or perhaps you're an astronaut floating in outer space where you hear nothing at all, you smell nothing at all, but you see the vast world below you. Wherever you decide to rest today, slowly and gently lower your, lower your cloud and imagine walking in. As you're walking into your resting garden, start thinking about the colors you see. I invite you to think about the textures you might feel, the sights, sounds, and smells. Mostly, I invite you to think about how you feel in this resting garden. I invite you to feel safe and loved, strong and proud, kind, brave and able, calm and peaceful. For just a few moments, I'll let you rest and then you'll hear my voice again. As you start to hear the sound of my voice, start bringing awareness back to your space and slowly making your way back to your fluffy cloud. Look around your resting garden one last time. Be proud of your creativity and your imagination today. Be proud of yourself for trying something new, being open to being silly, showing your friends how important it is to move your body to use your mind to create and to learn how to be still. Know that you are 
perfectly and beautifully made just the way that you are, exactly the way that you are. Give thanks for everything that your body can do and is learning to do. Give thanks for everything that the mind is capable of, knowing that when we allow it to be still with our breathing or our peace begins with me meditation, we are teaching our brains that it's okay to be still so that we can think before we speak, think before we act, so we can think and act with more peace and patience, kindness and justice bringing all of that into our life so that we can share that with those that we serve and interact with. Slowly make your way back on top of your cloud. Let it lift you high in the sky. Feel the cool air coming in through your nose. Let it feel soft on your skin. As you're floating through the air, notice if the sky looks exactly the same or perhaps a little bit different than when we started today. Slowly and gently land your cloud right on top of your mat in your preschool room. Wiggle your fingers and toes, wiggle your nose, and slowly come up to a seated position. Try not to rush the people nearby. Take your time, find your alignment and your sit bones connected with your mat again, top of the head lifted towards the sky, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Bring the fingertips down to the earth. So our breath today is our rainbow breath. And so rainbows are typically orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. So we are going to do one breath in, and one breath out for every color of the rainbow today. So we're gonna do lots of extra breathing today. So our, our term for breathing in yoga is pranayama. That is a beautiful fancy word that just means breath. So we need our breath to keep us calm, to bring energy and life into our bodies. So that's why we focus so much on taking deep breaths in through the nose, big breaths out through the nose or out through the mouth. So with our fingertips connected, we're going to start with one hand towards the other. So on the inhale, I want you to think of the color red. So inhale, lift the arm up and over, stretching the fingertips all the way to the ground on the other side. And then exhale the color red. And as we're talking about the colors, think of things that might be red. So strawberries and apples, maybe the color of love. <laughs> so the next color is orange. Sweep the arm up and over for the color orange. Think of all the things that you love that are the color orange. In breath, yellow. Exhale, yellow. Inhale, green. Exhale, green. Inhale, blue. Exhale, blue. Inhale, violet, or a fancy word for purple. <sighs> Sitting up nice and tall. I always feel better. My brain always feels a little bit tingly when I do deep inhales and exhales, and it feels good. It gives me energy for the rest of the day. So sitting up tall one last time, one last big inhale, open your arms up wide, gather up this beautiful energy you help create into the palms of your hands, exhaling to heart center. Thumbs to the heart, reminding us we are all connected by no mistakes. May the whole world be filled with peace and joy, love and light, and lots of peaceful children and teachers and families. Namaste, the light in me honors the light in you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate being able to serve you and look forward to serving you again very, very soon. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Hold all of these poses and breath work and meditation inside your brain and use them as much as you can. Peace, and I will see you soon. Bye, thanks for joining me. Thank you teachers, thank you parents.